Shanesh, good to see you. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Also good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm so excited that the festival is on, and I'm super excited to have the first cooking show with you together. Basically, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. it was the best idea of the writer because cooking is something what, uh, um, yeah, it's it's um, it talks culture, right? You taste culture. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Um, I'm also a very big cooking nerd, so um, I was very excited when I heard this was happening. So, yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Um, you got chosen out of 100 submissions. What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> thanks, thanks. That's, what what, what uh, are you going to cook for us? Oh my god, I'm so awkward. Uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna be making wangi bhat, which is uh, eggplant rice. Uh, basically, wangi is uh, means eggplant, and bhat is rice. Uh, um, from where I come from, uh, it's uh, it's a, the way I'm making it. It's a it's a South Indian dish, a uh, little bit more towards Karnataka, uh, which is a state in India, and um, yeah, um, it's. Uh, it's also this whole thing where like Indian food is supposed to be like this one blanket term that covers all the curries and the uh, naan. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not what we eat all the time. It's uh, it's very diverse. And like as you go from north to south and east, east to west, uh, the staples change, the spices changes, everything changes. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make something that's uh, very much from the region where I come from. And I hope you guys like it. Thank you very much. So I, I think for all the people who want to cook with uh, Shalesh, it's on the website. So there's the uh, recipe is on the website. Is this a secret and special recipe, or um, are you are you are you? Not really. Not really. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy if uh, people try it out and uh, you know make make it. So it's not really secret or special. Uh, but it's a recipe that's uh, from from my home. So Wonderful. yeah. All right. So how so, should, I start? I, should, should I just say nothing, or um... no? You can you could keep talking uh, to me, and I will start with the first thing. Is we're gonna take some um, chickpea lentils or chana dal or split Bengal gram, and we're gonna soak them a bit in hot water. So um, this is so that they will later uh, cook very easily. Um, so I'm just going to put some really hot water in it and soak it on the side. Okay. Um, then I'm going to start um, the rice, which uh, I have two cups of rice. Normally, this could be any kind of rice, uh, not necessarily basmati rice, but basmati is the one that I found is very easily available in, in Europe. So I'm using basmati myself right now. But this is cooked rice, yeah. right? No, no, it's raw rice. Okay. And what we're going to do is it's two cups of raw rice and we're going to add three cups of water to it, uh, bring it to a boil uh, and then simmer it for like nine minutes with the lid on. Um, if you if you simmer it for 12 minutes, uh, it's like completely cooked. So we want it to be slightly underdone because it's going to finish off with the eggplants. And you, you really heat, heat the pan very hot or uh, how is it? Uh, no, right now it's all uh, off. Uh, I haven't really started any, mm. any, any heating. So I've added some water, three cups of water to two cups of rice, and I'm going to bring it up to a boil. What, what did you start and it first, cooking or making gains? I think it's cooking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, uh, I always was uh, interested in... Uh, what my mom was doing in the kitchen and she was not very happy with that when I was a kid because growing up in India it was like a women's thing to do uh, and I was uh, always very like I want to help in the kitchen oh, nice. and yep. it, eventually uh, she was very happy that I learned to cook uh, uh, yeah so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this pan up uh, and we're gonna to, on a gentle heat and we're gonna toast some whole spices. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, black pepper, mm -hmm. whole black pepper, and we're gonna add one 
all of the black pepper that we took. And uh, this is uh, white poppy seeds. Okay. We're also going to add that. Uh, two red chilies. Normally, we would use uh, this type of red chili called Biadgi, uh, Bergi, but we don't. Uh, you can use any red chili, and depending on how hot you like it, you can that, change it as well. It's very hot, I guess. No, it's not oh. that hot. Uh, but the most most of the spiciness in this dish is going to come from the black pepper. We use quite a lot of black pepper. And then uh, two cloves, um, some fennel seeds, uh, and uh, two green cardamom. And I'm just going to mm -hmm. peel it. Just, just press them a little bit so they're sort of slightly open and then we're gonna heat this for maybe a couple of minutes so that they're a bit just starting to brown uh, it's green. It's green. Turns off. and yeah mm -hmm. In the meantime, if you are using whole tamarind, um, like something like that, or like uh, something that's like a brick, mm -hmm. you should probably soak some of that, uh, maybe a spoon and a half of that in uh, hot water. And uh, in 10 minutes, you can strain out the pulp using some kind of sieve or uh, something like that and take out all the pulp. We're going to need about two spoons of uh, tamarind pulp. I've already done this because uh, it needs to soak for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, where, did we, where did we meet for the first time? Was it with uh, Julie? I think so, yes. Uh, it was in Copenhagen with Julia. I think you were visiting her and so was I. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Quite some time ago. Yes. Now, now, he's, now he's turning eight. And oh. I think he was two or something like that. It was during this game jam. This VR oh, game yes. jam, I think. Yeah, Shaila, Shaila game jam, I think it yeah, was yeah, called. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. What are you working at the moment on? Uh, I am currently working at a studio called Shark Mob uh, in Mamo. Uh, and they're like a big AAA production house. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm also trying to do some side projects, uh, which is the nice thing about Shark Mob. They allow us to have our own side projects with no problems. Mm. Um, so that's good. Mm, I'm trying to get a, a game started, which is um, a little bit like um, a game about folding space. Um, I have some prototypes ready. Uh, Maybe what what, what do you mean time. with folding space? It's like Inception or something like that. Sort of. It's like a, every movie that you hear about uh, space and time where mm -hmm. someone takes a piece of paper and folds it um, and uh, explains a black hole. Uh, it's that, but in a game. <laughs> wow. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I have some stuff uh, in that ready. And maybe if we have time, I can uh, show you a video. But it's uh, kind of like a puzzle game masquerading as an action game with that as the main mechanic. Uh -huh. You don't have you don't have weapons, but you kind of like uh, destroy enemy ships by um, yeah folding space and using their own weapons against them, kind of. Yeah. Hey, hey Shanesh, I do have a question for you from our mm -hmm. audience. Yeah. So. Sweet Apple Pie Society asks, is there a spice that you like a lot and put in everything, even if it doesn't always fit, or you'd probably like it better if you, if you didn't include it? Uh, I'm, no. <laughs> no, I don't have a, a spice that I would add without where it doesn't belong. Um, but yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm quite boring that way. Thank you. I didn't know that this is working. This is incredible. How is this, com right. is this coming from? <laughs> uh, so the toasted spices, we're going to let them cool for a little bit. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to start chopping 
plants and eggplants. Uh, you can use um, any kind of eggplant. I'm using uh, small round ones. Um, they, they work best. That's what we usually use. We have a special strain of those that grows in India. But you can use the big, uh, yeah, big ones that are used easy, easily found. If you're using these, you probably want to chop them, dice them up okay. into roughly, roughly that size. Wow, they're, they're very. I never had them. It's, 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 I didn't know that they're existing. Yeah. Are this the, the good thing about what they get. No, they're a different t uh, kind. Oh, they don't get. Uh, yeah, they don't get um, uh, purple. Um, they're always green, and. And there's also some of them that are always white, like pure white. They actually look like eggs, yeah. uh, really huge eggs. And then uh, we have, uh, this one is I think Thai, but we also have a particular um, strain of them that grows in the actual village where I'm from. Mm. And uh, those are super delicious, uh, a little bit more bitter than these. So they have a little bit more flavor. And slice all of them. How, 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 Just... I mean, how important is um, cooking in, in India? So, I mean, families are Oof. big, uh, or, or did you grow up in a big family? Uh, my family was not that big. We were four of us. But uh, yeah, India is very much a food, food culture. Like, we talk about food all the time. We're always uh, cooking, we always eat fresh food, like, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, and unfortunately, that also means that a lot, large majority of moms were stay-at-home moms mm. and uh, cooking for their kids all the time. Uh, so, yeah, mm, but uh, all that is changing in urban areas a bit now. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it takes time for big change to happen. But yeah, we are a very, very much food-driven culture. Yeah, I come from Bavaria. We also like food, mm. but everything is with meat, you know, meat, meat, and yeah. meat. <laughs> lots of meat. <laughs> um, yeah, we have quite a lot of vegetarian food in India. Yeah. yeah. So because everything yeah. is kind of holy, right? So, I mean, you're not eating cows or something like that, or... What, what? Yeah, well, there's certain groups of or certain communities that don't eat cows, um, but uh, like a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but um, some communities do eat cows and uh, some also, yeah, younger people who are not super religious, they, they don't care. Uh, they also eat cows. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm personally, I'm a vegetarian, but it's also because like when I was growing up, there was, uh, so yeah, it's very common to have like neighborhood shops for everything um in and around the neighborhoods you live in and like uh, there was like a butcher shop very close to where I, where we used to live and uh, we used to play around in the same uh area mm -hmm. and there used to be goats and chicken and uh, yeah and then you see them get slaughtered and then i was like yeah i don't want to eat that um so i was a vegetarian from for a very long time now mm -hmm. but luckily india is a great place to be vegetarian there's a lot of vegetarian food now you're in, in Europe. You live in Copenhagen or you live in Malmö? Yeah. I moved to Malmö um, like um, a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, almost two years ago. So yeah. Do you, do you like the food there? What is it, what 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 is the special dish in 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 in, in Malmö? I guess that would be meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wouldn't have uh, had so many of them. However, we do have very good falafel in Malmo. Okay. So, which, which is vegetarian, yeah. and I do enjoy that quite a lot. So, the spices have cooled off a bit after toasting them, and now you can grind them up in any kind of grinder you have. You could also use uh, mortar pestle, but it's quite a lot. So, I'm just going to pop over to my kitchen machine and grind them to a powder. You're very organized. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Some call me crazy. And you're not messing around, so <laughs> it's really, really clean. Still, everything. When I cook, it's kind of a mess. You know, I don't know. It's total chaos. So yeah. <laughs> It is important to be organized as a game developer, organized and, and um, structured. Yes. Yes. I would think. I, I think it helps. I don't think it's necessary. There's. Uh, I don't think that there's like uh, the only way to do things. But I think it's. Uh, in in my mind, it helps me. Uh, yeah. And to take it further, are good mm -hmm. cooks good game designers, or are good game designers as well good cooks? Well, um, hang on. I'm uh, you're gonna have <laughs> to bear with some noise because there's gonna be some grinding involved, and I will answer that question right after that. Because uh, somehow I've heard. I don't know what film director said it, but I mean it was like <clears throat> when you make good movies, you're also a good cook. Because I mean, you need all these kind of ingredients. I don't know, so to and 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 to make a make a good movie. Yeah, I think um, uh, cooking is also multi like has so many things going on. Uh, development is probably a bit more multidisciplinary than cooking, but uh, it also yeah requires you to do different kinds of things and uh, uh, I think it's the one big difference I find between games and cooking is that you cook something and it's done and, you know, well you could you you might be fermenting stuff for for a year or something but other than that you're probably like done in a few mm -hmm. hours or at, at max uh, but with games uh, it can go on for years <laughs> So I think the gratification is much more yeah. quicker uh, with cooking. <coughs> during during uh, I mean you 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 live in Sweden so you you really never had lockdown right during COVID. Yes, we this is correct. We didn't have a hard enforced lockdown. Yeah, it's been more like a, um, suggestions of uh, how to deal with the pandemic and then leaving people to their own better judgments. Uh, <coughs> And uh, w w what were your thoughts? I mean, it was like, oh yeah, I mean, government is right. Let's go outside and pretend yeah. it's everything is yeah. okay. Or, or it was, uh, or did you make your your own lockdown? I think uh, for for quite some time we were uh, pretty much in our own own self imposed lockdown. The government wasn't really encouraging us to go out or anything, mm -hmm. but um, it was just that, um, you know. Um, don't um, yeah follow basic rules and then you can do most of the things. However, um, I think maybe they could have been a little bit more, um, a little bit more. Um, there are so many stupid people and you know, uh, <laughs> and uh, people who are just um, not caring about the situation and just uh, running around like nothing happened. So. I hope it doesn't get worse. Um, yeah, hopefully. But I also, yeah, um, we have um, our workplace has been very, very careful in um, making sure that no one um, is feels compelled to come into the office to work. Everyone can work from home, mm. uh, and uh, those who want to come into work can can do so on every other week. So. There's a rotation, mm. um, this kind of thing. So I think, like, when it works, that uh, people use their better judgment to not, um, you know, uh, yeah, um, act responsibly. When it works, it works, and when it doesn't, yeah. uh, it doesn't. So, yeah. Right now, I think where I am uh, in Malmo, which is part of Skåne, I think the cases are pretty low, and we're doing quite well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I hope that continues. So, what are you putting in there? What is this? This is a uh, black mustard seeds, mm -hmm. and uh, when you put them in, they'll start to snap, crackle, 
means they're ready to add. Oh. Next up, now I've added some curry leaves. Uh, and this is the whole cookie uh, lentil. Oh, I want to smell it. I think it smells amazing. Unfortunately, smells don't go through the camps. But, uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to add uh, two more chilies. Um, you can adjust the chilies as per your tolerance. And once, and now we wait for the, um, the chickpea lentil to become slightly more colored, like a brownish. Mm -hmm. And once that's done, we'll put some uh, onions in, and we are on our way. Somebody is asking, what's the dish? Again. Uh, the dish is called Wangi Bhat, which is uh, um, a, a dish with rice and eggplants. It's like a, a meal by itself, sort of. Uh, and you can also serve it with yogurt or mm. yeah, raita or something like that if you prefer. I'm just fascinated. Yeah. It's incredible, right? I'm also very hungry. I'm because we had no lunch so far. Yeah. Because we, we did something a little bit wrong because we have no breaks. During the whole no. three and a half days program, oh, there no. are no breaks. <laughs> the streaming Thanks. team hates me so much. <laughs> but they never yeah, told us. They never right. told us. <laughs> right. So this is uh, you can see. I don't know if you can see, but the lentils are a little bit brown now. So I can add the onion. Seems like onion. I have to have croissants this morning. Oh no, I'm taking a break now. Listen. Oh, yeah. it's taking, it's taking oh my God. The, the, the table is moving. No. What was that? What? 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 No. <laughs> can you see I me? Can, can you actually see me? Uh, uh, I can when I look at the screen, but I'm uh, trying to not look at the screen so I don't burn anything. <laughs> I'm really getting nauseous now because the table is Hello. moving. This is weird. Is this on <laughs> my end? So, I'm not tripping, sorry. So oh, it's yes. really happening. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you been to the Amaze Space? space. Uh, no, not yet. No. Okay. Um, I downloaded the app this morning, but okay. I not Yeah, you have to check it out. Yes. This is the sure. future of festivals. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is online now. Are you, are you, are you missing... Um, Physical festivals, or are you happy that you actually have a break? You don't have to run around through all this kind of conventions and, and meet people and making all this kind of effort to travel around the world to make business? I think uh, I think I, I miss a little bit of the... Uh, at its worst, it can be a lot, I think. Like going to a lot of festivals, a lot of conferences can be very tiring and like take out a lot from you. But um, in the past few years, I went to very few select um, conferences, and that was really nice. Uh, so I do miss that. Like, I do miss going to a maze, for example, or, well, I am at a maze, but in a different way. <laughs> but, you know, just going to at least a couple of them a year and uh, checking it out. Well, what is your favorite festival? Oh, shit. <laughs> Question. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> How often you've been to a maze festival? Uh, three times. I three think. times. Yeah. Oh, you 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 don't cut them. You just leave them like them. 
like like yes. like they are. Uh, we cut a little bit. Uh, yeah, um, just made uh, slits in the eggplant. Yeah, uh, because they're small. Uh, didn't take off the top. It's totally okay to do that. That's how we did it forever. Uh, but if you want to take off the top, you can do that as well. Um, uh, obviously, if you're using the bigger eggplant, you're probably going to die. Mm. Easy, so. uh, and now I'm going to sort of air fry this stuff till the eggplants are about half done. Almost. How, how do you know that the eggplants are ready? I mean, uh, you'll see them, their uh, skin softening up mm. and uh, changing color a bit. Okay. And you can also push around with a spoon or a fork or a skewer or something. Um, yeah, uh, you'll, you'll see that uh, change color. They've already started changing color. So Ryder and I was thinking after the festival maybe we're running mm -hmm. further this cooking show thing. Do you think you oh. you, you 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 would uh, would you, would you love to watch it? You know when we do it regularly. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And maybe cook cooking cooking game well. game devs. I think it's. Oh um, yeah, that's great. I also enjoyed moderating. I mean, it's so nice chatting with you. Thank you. I was very uh, nervous. I didn't know how this would go, and I didn't know what's the, what what you, should you're be. You're doing what's a good incredible time. incredible <laughs> job. Uh, thank you. Oh, I, I really just want to be teleported to you and then we sit on the table and then we eat together. Yes, that would be lovely. Maybe when Emmy's uh, physical is back. Yes, yes. yes. Continue having this sort of cooking uh, show. What, what, what are your predic uh, predictions? Do you think that uh, next year everything is going to be fine? Or what, what, do you, what do you think? Uh, maybe next uh, we or late summer maybe is my guess okay but but i don't know i like um anything can happen like it, especially like things are moving so fast like um, mm. in india it was uh, not picking up quite uh, a lot initially and then um then it suddenly blew up in the past few few months which was expected i think like the fact that it was not picking up in india just seemed very very suspicious to me yeah uh, <laughs> um, how many people living in india how many uh, 1.3 billion oh my god yeah Whoa. and uh, more um and so where i am from the city where i'm from mumbai that's like uh, 25-ish million, I would say. Mm. Uh, that's like two and a half Swedens in one city. Um, so, and like, uh, it also has a lot of, lot of population density. The stuff like social distancing is very, very hard to do. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. yeah, I can imagine. How often are you traveling to, to India? I mean, now it's uh, probably impossible, but I mean... Yes, <laughs> uh, I try to go once a year, mm -hmm. but I haven't been for the last two years because uh, I had a work... I'm, I'm here on a work permit uh, and my work permit was in uh, renewal and that took a really, really long time, like uh, eight months for it to come through. Mm -hmm. So I was, uh, I couldn't... Uh, in Sweden in that time, so I was just here. Um, so I haven't been anywhere for outside for almost two years. Um, I was hoping to go this year, but uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, all closed down and not advisable to travel to India right now. I've never been to India. Mm. If I, if I, uh, I mean, are there some suggestions? Uh, I mean. We're talking now for the future traveling things. So, could start what 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 India. what are the the must see things or what what would oh. you? I mean, you don't have to tell oh, now. No. Maybe you just tell me very secretly. Yes. So the 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 the, the good spots. Yes, <laughs> I can tell you a lot of the really good restaurants, oh. like uh, for some really good food. Um, and then you can go to Taj Mahal and <laughs> yeah, Taj Mahal and uh, you know. The t I mean, I, I'm, I'm being from India. I'm not very good at the touristy spots. Uh, I think 
because you take it for granted. I didn't see the Taj Mahal for till I was 34, I think. Mm. Yeah, three years ago. That's when I, that's when I saw Taj Mahal. <laughs> uh, but there's like so much stuff, uh, even at a local level, like um, uh, near where I'm from, there's um, Goa, which is a beach town, mm. which is uh, which has really nice beaches, uh, good seafood if you're into that. And also a lot of um, beautiful churches uh, from the Portuguese era. Um, if you go s to southern India, where my parents originally came from, then there's like uh, thousands of years old stone carved temples, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, lots of that kind of, and and also other beach towns like Mangalore and uh, Pondicherry. So uh, you can go up north for like uh, some more, um, yeah, different kinds of uh, temples and uh, the holy sites like uh, Varanasi and Rishikesh. And you can also go mountain climbing and there's, there's just so much to do. It's such a huge, huge country. And uh, every region has its own food. And so you will have plenty to enjoy have you ever thought about making a food game yes actually quite a few times uh, never successfully managed though but did think about it quite a lot uh, um, i wanted to make a, a game about making dosas it's one of my favorite dish to make it's a it's like a, a rice and lentil that's ground and fermented into kind of like a a batter and then you fry it uh, on a pan a little bit like a pancake but it's not sweet it's savory and uh, yeah i really miss those and i make them here now uh, for myself and it's um i wanted to at some point make a game about making those us mm. which never took off <laughs> When, 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 I mean, we, I think we never talked about the start, you know, when, 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 wa what was your inspiration to become a game developer or, or going this direction and, and start making your own games? Uh, I think I, I had been playing games for a while, but um, I, somehow I was very young. I was like, really, really, really. Can, can you adjust your microphone a little bit? Because somehow um, I can't hear you anymore. Please. Uh, is it uh, is it better now? Um, a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Check. Yeah. Yeah, much um, better now. Much better now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I uh, was around uh, thirteen, maybe, and I played. I had played games before that, but uh, I played uh, Day of the Tentacle, this uh, old. LucasArts mm. uh, adventure game and uh, it had this beautiful credit sequence uh, at the start to, like uh, Ron Gilbert game and uh, Tim Schafer and uh, I was like uh, that was the time where my stupid young brain realized that actually someone makes games and I was like hey I want, I want to do that too <laughs> uh, and before that I was like I don't know where games come from they're just loaded on the computer I guess <laughs> So, yeah, I, I would say Day of the Tentacle was the game that was kind of like, oh my god, I want to play, I want to make games as well. And I mean, I, I, I never, I, I, it's, I, I know Socioball, I know mm -hmm. Hybrix, yeah. and uh, it's just a thought. Um, yeah. Are this more like mechanics, puzzles? Yes. Yeah, they're mostly mechanics-driven games. So, but but um, you you got inspired by a narrative game. When are you gonna start yes. making a narrative game? Actually, we started off. I started off my studio uh, in India making narrative games. Yeah. We were working on a point-and-click adventure in 2007 for 2006 uh, for a Nintendo DS game. Mm. Uh, it was called Mortley. A stick in time. Uh, and it was the uh, Franken plus Spanish monster who was uh, made up of different body parts and you could, uh, um, you could uh, swap around one part and like, add something else into it. 
bodyguards and saw the puppets in, in the in the night mm. back there. From a little uh, adventure game, we got to publish here in uh, Canada. Uh, then in 2008, uh, the publisher went bankrupt. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't have the means to finish that game. So we had to switch over to um, launching games for something that we could publish ourselves. Mm-hmm. And uh, then App Store was kind of opening up at the time. So we started um, making games for iOS. And that was more like. Mm. Um, yeah, then we kind of. Got we were we also were very uh, budget. We didn't have uh, so much um, budget for animators, and uh, um, so it was just um, me and uh, and one more guy uh, who was programming. And um, then we had uh, one more designer joined us, and it was three of us for a while. And um, so we were pretty small and cap strapped and. So we just uh, worked with what we had, trying to get out some games. So we couldn't live the dream at the time. <laughs> well, what, what do you think? I mean, it's uh, um, we, we we just had uh, yesterday. We had the first Amaze Bazaar, this uh, international um, 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 art house games market. Do you think that um, art house is just a niche, or do you think that uh, in the future there will be a market for art house games? I hope there is a market in the future because uh, I think we need more interesting, more different experiences. Uh, and I think art house games do really well in, in giving you just that. So I really hope that there is a big, bigger market for those kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, I think so as well. So I mean, it's, um, I mean, basically this is why Amaze is existing. So. Because we want to push this yeah. forward, <laughs> but uh, but we, this funny thing is, I mean, we started with indie, and <laughs> so so it was called mm. Indie Connect, and uh, we were always kind of experimental, but uh, but then suddenly mm. we came this kind of independent movement all over the world. Everybody's becoming independent uh, game developer, um, yeah. and then of course, I mean, it's not that we move into niches or something, but I mean, definitely you have to create a kind of a own own identity yeah. kind of mm. uh, because yeah. uh, um, I mean it's important that people mm, can live from what they do it's very important um, but when everything is just like based on on selling products it's kind of sad I think it's much better when people are really selling content you know something what is more meaningful yeah, um, I, I agree, and uh, I think there's there's plenty of uh, content is very uh, you know, where you can go for those other things like like the CDC, like I don't know. It's very hard to hear you now. Oh, uh, is it better now? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, I was saying like there's a lot of. Uh, festivals and conferences for that kind of uh, selling or like you know looking for money or looking for publishers and things like that um so i guess that sort of that area is already sort of covered i think so it's good that something like a means of fish it's not about that um, different kinds of creators can get the, the spotlight for more interesting or art house or alternative yeah. things. So yeah, the eggplants are sort of Yeah, they done. look very, very good. They really look uh, good. The, the skin are is slightly softer now. And then so how, how long how long were they cooking now? I mean it's kind of twenty minutes and they're always steering around, right? Yeah. Mm, some time stirring and uh, maybe, yeah, maybe 10, 15 minutes, I would say. Um, but we're going to cook them a little bit more. And now we add the, the asafoetida or cumin, as we call it. Mm-hmm. It's a, a very smelly, uh, some people describe it as a 
um, smelly gym socks, uh, <laughs> or uh, some people describe it as rotten eggs. But uh, I really like uh, the flavor <laughs> that it gives, and it's a uh, it's uh, it's a spice that's always in this recipe. So that's um, that's the special ingredients, right? This is the no, no, it's not. It's it's very common in uh, in South Indian food, especially I would say, and it gives a very nice flavor, mm. even though. If you smell it on its own, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit strong, um, and it comes from the root sap of the herbs from the aniseed family. So yeah, it's hardened root sap from the aniseed family. And this one is uh, turmeric. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hey, Shilesh, this is your moderator again. Yes, I, hello. I do have uh, another question for you. Sure. So, Robin Baumgartenfrag uh, is asking, Robin! What drink would you have with eggplant rice? Sorry? Could you repeat that? Uh, <laughs> one more time, yeah. What drink would you have with eggplant rice? What drink what would you have? What kind of drink would ah. you uh, recommend? Oh, that's uh, tricky. I think um, most drink. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would never advise. Um, uh, it's hard to advise wine with Indian food because it's so uh, pungent. So I would not advise uh, the wine with it. You could have beer. Uh, you could also have um, yogurt-based drinks. We have like some salty yogurt-based drinks um, called chas. Um, or yeah, it's basically drinking yogurt with uh, salt and curry leaves and uh, ginger. Um, but you could also have uh, lemonade yeah. or just, yeah, <laughs> or lassi, like a sweet lassi. That's also an option. But I would probably go with the uh, salty yogurt drink myself. Like I run. Yeah, it's a little bit like that actually. Do you get that in Germany as well? I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. We, you can buy it everywhere at every every corner. Nice. Yes. Also, yeah, also fresh ones. Shops. Sometimes you find fresh ones. It's really delicious. Oh. Yeah, it's so for, for, it's so refreshing. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. I think for people who are not used to having salty drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I do not have that problem. All right. So I added the turmeric and um, the tamarind base. Yeah. And continue to heat this a little bit longer. Cooking is like meditation. Are you are you meditating yourself? Are you? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think uh, I and now I'm adding the spice mix that we need. Um, two big spoons of it. Um, yeah, I, I really think uh, cooking is very meditative, at least for me. Uh, I always uh, end up reading about all the daily stresses or. Um, anything of the sort when I'm cooking and it's just uh, super relaxing for me. So we just, when I'm cooking, I'm only thinking about the stuff I'm making, I'm not worried about anything else. So it's a nice meditative experience in my opinion as well. When I'm getting invited to, to whatever, to a friend, to a house, when they cook, I always, always, um, I'm the dishwasher. I like, I like dishwashing. It's kind of, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. It's, That's um, the one thing that I do not like about the... <laughs> no, because this is really meditating for me, you know? It's kind of, uh, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that, yeah. And also, I mean, nice. I, I, I learned years, 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 years ago, I learned working in a hotel. So I, I worked in the bar, I worked in the reception, I worked as well making beds and all this kind of stuff. Uh, housekeeping was called. And uh, um, <coughs> yeah, cooking as well. But I don't know what I, what I wanted to tell you. Meditative. 
um, yeah, meditate and stop doing dishes. <coughs> Right, and then I was uh, in the hotel, of course, yeah. I, thank you, thank you very much. Then I was actually with these machines, you know, these kind of hot machines, you know, it is kind of boiling mm -hmm. hot in the summer, and then you washed all the dishes. But this is how I, I earned my first money, basically, by, wow. by washing dishes. The yeah, worst, the worst is breakfast, the worst is breakfast, because this is really sticky and, and all this kind of jam and marmalade and <laughs> honey and I don't know, so, and everybody's stapling all this kind of dishes on, yeah, it's wah. but all the other things, good. Yeah, so now I've added some salt to this, uh, and uh, that's gonna allow you to taste all the spices, so don't skimp out on it, but don't have too much in there. Uh, I used about 7 ml for my proportions that I gave on the, on the website. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we are almost ready to pop in the rice. They look so delicious. <laughs> and now we add the, the rice that was like 3 fourths done. Whoop! <laughs> But this is for, for three people, right? Yeah, four, maybe, even. So it's uh, quite a lot of food. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh, you cover you cover it with rice. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah and then, then you, you mix it. Toss it. It's hard to, this time is not large enough to toss. Uh, <laughs> I'm so hungry now. I'm so hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 All the streaming people like, oh my god, <laughs> I need food. We ordered food. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, what, 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 what are we getting? Asian food? I don't know, is it? Yeah. What kind Asian of Asian food? food? I mean, this is <laughs> <laughs> pretty general. <laughs> I think I think I get uh, curry with uh, um, chicken. Oh, yes. nice. So you did get Indian food. Nice. Uh, whoop. Yeah, this pan is. Oh yeah, messy. now it's getting messy. Yeah. <laughs> it's because the pan is too small. Yeah. But um, it's fine. <laughs> I'll clean it up. <laughs> and once we mix it all up, we just uh, put on the lid and. If, if you think it's too dry, you can add like a spoonful more of the water mm -hmm. and uh, just put the lid and let it steam for two minutes and you are ready to go. You can add uh, fresh coriander leaves if you're into that, um, but it's completely optional. Yeah. So, yeah, now this is all mixed and ready to steam for wow. two minutes. Hey, Shilash, I do have a few more questions for you. Can I quickly interrupt? Yes, for sure. Okay, I have two questions. The first mm -hmm. one is, have you ever been to Eastern India? Uh, Eastern India? Mm, I have been to uh, Calcutta. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the only city in East I have been. Yeah, that's... Um, Okay. Great, thank you. What is the, what is the second the question? The question is, you learned cooking from your mother. I learned cooking from, uh, yes, from my mother a um, bit. Uh, Shilesh, did you learn cooking from your mom? Yes. Uh, did your mom would... teach you how to cook? She did uh, teach me some recipes, yes. Uh, also, one of my dad's uh, cousins. Um, she was uh, visiting us a lot when we were growing up and i would always talk about food with her and my mom um so those two people i learned quite a lot of cooking from i did join some uh, weird cooking classes in school but i never really cooked there they just cooked and we watched and then we ate all that food um so that was not so useful but it uh, kept my interest alive and yeah so i would say my mom one of my aunts, and then uh, just friends and internet. Uh, yeah, friends and friends, moms and internet. So, 
This goes on top, and in two minutes we are ready to eat. It's really fascinating that all this kind of technology is working. You are cooking from Malmö into yes. Berlin, uh, through, through Berlin into the world. It's incredible. That's crazy. It is. And, uh, and people can ask questions directly, more yes. or less. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I, yeah, we have nine minutes left. Yes, I was not sure it would get done in time, but I think we did okay. But it's, it's quite a process. I mean, you're yes, cooking yes, almost 50 minutes or something like that, or 45 yeah. minutes? Yeah, yeah, I think so. What do you cook when, you, when you're just hungry? Uh, that would be, well, a bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I would also make pasta sometimes yeah. or, or, you know, anything. But uh, if I want to cook something Indian and uh, quick, then I would cook something called a spoha. Uh, which is like a flattened rice um, with uh, onions and uh, either potato or um, eggplant or mm. um, and uh, mustard seeds and green chilies and curry leaves and peanuts. Um, that that would be one dish to go to, and the second one would be uh, upma, which is like a savory semolina. Uh, dish uh, where you cook semolina with uh, onions mm. and tomatoes or onions and or just uh, semolina and some spices and uh, coconut uh, yeah those would be my quick go-to recipes you should really think about making a cookbook yes I am uh, actually this is you're the second person and uh, I have considered doing some kind of blog or YouTube channel or some kind of, uh, yeah, um, cooking uh, thing, but haven't yet um, acted on it enough, I think. So maybe this will be the thing that starts it off. I just got a message in that also our food arrived. Oh, shit. So we can actually eat together. Oh, and uh, just as the timer goes off for this, it's ready. Oh, wow. I'm going to add some frozen coriander leaves, sadly, because uh, I couldn't find fresh coriander today. That is done. It's really in time. We have five okay. minutes left. You put it now on the plate and you're going to eat it in front of us. I'm sure you're oh, going to no. do this. You're going to do this. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you want to. Yeah. Oh, it looks so delicious. Yeah, that's ready. Thank you so much for sharing it with us and, uh, and the Amaze community. It's really, really nice. Yay. Thank you so much for having me. It has been fun. It's my first time I've done. It's, it's, a, it's a different thing, right? I mean, we, 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 yeah. we talked about a lot of cool things. Um, it was a very, very personal chat. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, tomorrow we're yeah. also going to have a, a cook. Actually, I don't know who's <coughs> cooking tomorrow. A dryker tomorrow. This is Riker. Riker, yes, yes, yes. yes. We have Jen as well. I think she's yeah. cooking on Saturday. So we have two more cooking shows. Nice. And, and Riker, I'm she's cooking then from them. Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it's very I'm nice. Excited. It's very nice. I'm really looking forward to this. And so Ryder is going to moderate then. Yes. Mm, nice. So enjoy your <coughs> eggplant. I, I try to say uh, how it's called, Van Ba. Van Ba. There it is, and uh, eat away. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Um, hopefully we see each other very, very soon. Yes. Take care. Stay safe.
and you too thank you very much bye ciao, ciao.